Good Tuesday morning to you. Did you take my advice yesterday and have a look at what what really needs to be done this week and then make a bit of a plan to accomplish that? How many? One thing that really, really needs to be done? I hope you didn't. If you didn't, well, it's Tuesday morning and you, you can still do this. Trust me, a little bit of planning ahead will make all the difference in your productivity and your stress level because you've got, even if it's just a rough plan, <laughs> mine are not always carved and written in stone. In fact, usually they aren't. Uh, <laughs> so just um, even some sort of rough idea of this is my goal and this is how I'm going to do it in uh, roughly, that will help you immensely. Who am I? I am Kitty Andrews with DeclutterTheBrain.com, helping ADHDers and a few good non-ADHDers to clear their mental and physical clutter so they can create their new calm and clutter-free life in 90 days or less. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we work fast here at Declutter the Brain. And if you want to learn more about how we do that through our uh, Clutter-Free Collective Membership Program or working one-on-one -on -one with me, fair warning, it's not, it's not cheap, but I am very, very good at what I do. <laughs> right, Michael? Right, Susan? God love you. Thank you. And uh, um, Jessica, if you're watching, hey, miss your girl. Um, anywho, this week we are, this week and next week we are talking about the 12 days of a clutter-free Christmas, and it's a bit of a take on take on the song. And yeah, I know it doesn't. It, the 12 days don't start until Christmas Day. We're we're taking poetic license here, okay? Basically, a whole bunch of tips to help you make it through reasonably unscathed and and with your sanity still intact. Uh, yeah, all right, because Christmas can in the Utah can be overwhelming, especially to busy-brained ADHDers. Uh, of which I am one and most of my clients are actually so and that's a beautiful thing we are blessed with this all right yesterday we talked about um making a list and checking it twice if you have not already done so make lists of everything you need to shop for and categorize them make lists of your lists I don't care how you how you do it categorizing them really makes a difference. So rather than having one honk, long honking list of cranberries, gift wrap, a gift for gift for Susie, uh, turkey, do, <laughs> do you see where I'm going here? Uh, categorize them into your groceries, your, your booze. <gasps> Heaven forbid anyone should drink. Gifts, gift wrap, all of these things, if you need to categorize it by, by store, like General, Dollar General or Walmart, whatever it is, categorize them somehow. And then do everything you can to categorize them. All right, today, it won't go bad. Or as they say in the Maritimes, it won't go bad. Bad. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. It's a, uh, there can be quite the accent here sometimes. All right, so anywho, but, uh, have all of your dry goods, your snacks, your root veggies, your wine, and your spirits, and your mixes stocked up and ready. As I say, it will not go bad. Uh, if then boy save you a whole lot of stress when it comes to the middle you know next week when you're frantically trying to the there isn't as much in the store basically get it now and put it where it's supposed to be and you may want to get your frozen turkey today too and put it in the either in your freezer or the bottom of the bed, uh, no, no, it's too early for the bottom of the fridge, really. But why not get it now? It may be on sale and you've got it. Okay, so tomorrow, are you wrap ready? Until then, download, uh, the link is down below, download your seven easy steps to conquer your physical and mental clutter. And while you're there, go ahead, click that book a call button with me and let's have a chat about how we could work together to have you calm and productive and clutter-free for life. Have a great day, everybody. Bye for now.